So you've received a new box mod vape kit. In this video, we'll show you the steps to set it up and have it working. Step one, charge your battery. Your box kit uses one or more external batteries. We recommend charging them fully before using the kit. An external charger is best. Step two, insert your battery. Make sure to fit them properly and not upside down. Look at the positive and negative signs. Step three, check your coil. It's important to make sure that the coil has been fully tightened before you fill up the tank with liquid. If it's slack, your liquid will leak through the air holes and the device will not vape as there will be a loose connection. Step four, prime your coils. We recommend adding a few drops of liquid to your coils before filling up the tank. This allows the liquid to soak into the cotton and helps avoid a dry hit or burnt taste when you first use your vape. Step five, attach your tank to the mod. All tanks and mods have a universal 510 connection. It's a simple screw fitting Fix the tank using your thumb and index fingers, ensuring you don't over tighten as it can be difficult to remove at a later date. Step six, add your liquid and let it saturate the cotton for five to 10 minutes. This allows for the liquid to soak fully into the cotton and will also help prevent burning the cotton in your coil. Step seven, turn on your device. It might sound basic, however, sometimes users can find this tricky. Five rapid clicks to the fire button will power your device on. If your kit has variable wattage, make sure you're using the best setting possible for the coils you're using. This information should be written on the coil or on its box. If you're vaping mouth to lung, with a coil of 1.0 ohm and over, then we recommend using a 50-50 liquid. This is a thinner liquid that requires less heat to vaporize. However, if you're using a sub-ohm device, a coil of 1.0 ohm and under, you need a thicker liquid. We recommend a 70-30 ratio as the device is more powerful. If you use 50-50 liquid in a sub-ohm device, it is highly likely the device will leak and cause your coil to burn. Bear in mind, most coils will last between five to seven days before you need to replace them. You will know when to change the coil as you will begin to lose flavor and you will start to get a burnt taste. Now you should be ready to vape. Let us know in the comments if this video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching.